Uh, the generation before the baby boomers, for the most part, were pretty good savers, and they and they have money. What I'm sc scared about is the baby boomers. They come in and and they still are making mortgage payments. You know, they they have no idea that they would ever pay off a house because they'll just turn around and refinance it in a few years. So I'm really concerned about the cost. A lot of my colleagues have thought, well, the baby boomers are coming along. They got a lot of money. We need to be building very high end, you know, resort style um, type facilities. Uh, but I think we may be overbuilding the market a little bit because when they get there, are they going to have the money? Um, but there's going to be a lot of them. So we've got to learn to be much more efficient. And we also have to be able to, to learn to use all the resources available. And that's why I think it's so important to, to uh, when you take a look at, for example, in-house therapy, you know, providing that therapy inside of an assisted living facility where those therapists are there daily to take care of whatever patients need. What we found is that those patients um, live longer. They live with, with less needs that we have to provide for them. Uh, so it, it's really making sure they have the physician care, the therapy care, even high I always like to tell folks, you know, the statistic is people who go on hospice live 29 days longer than those who don't with the same diagnosis. Mm. Wow. Now, why is that? Because hospice is coming in and providing additional care and services for that person, but also because that person at that point in time has chosen to, uh, to, to not seek more aggressive mm -hmm. treatments that a lot of times actually bring on an earlier death rather than a later death.